people actually think I was going to let this drama slide by and not say a word. <laughs> I'm not laughing. It's a serious matter and to some extent, you know what I mean? I did an hour-long video and tried to upload it, and it just YouTube is just like, you know. So, you know, I have a YouTube video channel, and I'm a part of a lot of social media. But I want to go backwards in time, and, and, and I want to tell you what happened to me. I'm, I'm, trying to, I'm trying to, you know, listen to everyone and say, what happened to you? And, and a lot of women are like, what happened? You know, so this video may clarify some things or it may not. This is just my spin, my version, my thing. Um, I joined this group. I was very, very happy to have this group. It started flowing really nice. You could vent. I mean, God, there's so many benefits, right? So, you know, awesome, right? And I've always been myself. I'm always kind of like an upfront, in your face kind of chick. And I'm not going to change anytime soon. So I'm going to watch the time on this and do them in three segments. I hope. It's just a lot to tell you. Um, so, um, long story short, I was in a group with 20,000 people. They get the award every year for best Facebook group. They're epic. And I mean, they're epic, but they're really rich. And I did hair for many years and, and I made a lot of money and believe me, this does tie in. And, um, <clears throat> I dealt with the wealthy a lot and I quit doing it. It, it, it just came with so many issues of like, not relating to my clients and, and just putting up with it because I wanted to go to Puerto Vallarta and stuff like that. That was my own bad. Uh-oh. I think I pushed the button. Oh, there we go. So, oops, I think I did it again. Oopsie. I'm like the most weirdest YouTuber ever, but I have a lot of subscribers. I do have subscribers, and, and they're really cool people. They're really nice. They're very unjudgmental. So I was in this group um, of 20,000 people. They get the award every year and of course you know I want to be a part of it because it was all about veganism and it was all about uh, um, how to live your life healthy and, and I mean they knew what they were doing I'm not kidding you these people are like genius and many of them are sick but there's one thing that this group had that our group did not have and that what I'm changing the lighting here because I'm not very good with lighting um, there's one thing that <clears throat> this group had so I'm in the truck wife wife's group that Kathy ran and you know I didn't even know she was the leader for a long time and um uh I just didn't um maybe because I don't pay attention and maybe because I'm always focused on something else so first of all I want to tell you that there we're making a documentary so these videos are done for that purpose and it was actually by happenstance I don't know if a lot of you know that but I want to put that out front to you I would never use your names I will use Kathy's name, not in not in the full name because I would get in trouble, but I will say her name so you understand what's going on. And a couple other of the key ladies that may ring her bell. I was in this Facebook group, and you know, we're ve we were vegan, so when you're vegan, we don't allow steak pictures and things like that. So if somebody came and infiltrated our group, they would post like a steak and stuff, and vegans just freak out over that stuff, including myself. And the big wigs of the group were just like, no, 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 no. And the actual person of the group that runs that group, she's still on my regular Facebook. She would throw up that group description and be like, you need to leave. You know, kind of like a mother, kind of, you know. And so that was kind of like appropriate for me. I really liked that, that whole approach of being honest and saying, this is within our rules. You've broken the rule. Can you please leave? Not booting people, just, of course, spammers and stuff like that. But they would ask permission, like, do you mind if I go ahead and put this on here? And the leader of the group would say, yeah, sure, go ahead, you know, as long as it's relative to the topic. So she had a huge description, you know, what you could and couldn't do. So with that said, I kind of knew how a great Facebook could run and, and how it would be. Not to say that that gives me an advantage now. I just know that that helps and it's really effective so when things started getting crazy and Kathy's group, which, by the way, I knew about, and I'll tell you how I knew about it. i got to watch the time on this because I don't want to get over, like, 15 minutes. So um, let's see. How did it all begin? There was some, like, weird feeling there, and we're pretty tight. Truck driver wives are very, very close. And 
there was some like weird vibe going on, but I'm so oblivious to it because I have to do the documentary. I've got the gardening. I've got the, uh, and I'm sick and oh, you know, I have everything going on. And um, who knew being a vegan would make me sick? But it was it was my bad, you guys. It really was my bad. And I'll update you on that. So anyway, mm, something was just wrong about the group and. Women throughout this time that I've been in this group were personally messaging me. And they would, in the midst of saying their personal problems and just wanting to get to know me, and, and I, I guess because the videos maybe I'm more approachable or something, and, and maybe because I'm an underdog, and they kind of were too. And so what happened was people were messaging me and they were telling me things and I didn't break that trust. I did not go into the group and start saying, you know what? Because I'm not anybody's mother, and I'm not their freaking boss. So, <clears throat> I knew over a stretch of time that this was occurring, that um, some of the ladies felt violated because their other little friendy in the group went to their husband. And so I knew about this. And so I make a video. Come on, you guys, knock it off. In a general way. Because I didn't want to be anybody's mother and have to, stop doing that, that's not allowed. Of course, there's no group description in the thing, which means there's no rules, which means you can get away with whatever. But the group's great, right? So um, women had been messaging me. We were talking about personal lives. We were talking about stuff, feelings, personal, personal, personal. And I wasn't going to air their dirty laundry. I mean, that's just the way it is. We don't do that. But I knew the husband line was getting crossed, and I was like, you need to stand up to her. You need to stand up to her. Well, then it got out of control. So I said, you belong here too. And actually a few members, and I will not name their names because I think that would be crossing the line naming their names because I think they feel very victimized. They were told many a time in Messenger um, to shut up their opinion didn't count. Now, I'm not going to tell you who said that because they did not make me privy to that information. All they did was said that somebody said that. And I said, you should not believe her. That is not true. You, your opinion does matter. I don't know who's doing it to you, and I don't want to know. But you should not let anybody say that to you. And so over a period of time, I would say in the last six months, or maybe five, or maybe have I been in there long? I don't know how long I've been in there, but as long as I've been in there, women have been talking to me. I didn't feel like I was keeping secrets. I didn't feel like I knew something and was going to another girl and telling her that, not until just recently. And... I kept the information to myself because I'm one of those types of people, like I'm an activist and stuff. We don't give up our sources. <laughs> I'm like a reporter. <laughs> I don't give up my sources. So, but I knew this was occurring. And so late at night, you know, I would say like I was sad, but you know how the threads were there? They were like, we'd start off with like, I'm sewing a t-shirt to like, I don't know, my husband's a big dick, you know, or something like that. So... That was kind of what was happening at night. And sometimes I needed somebody to talk to, like, for real, talk to them. Like, not just these women that were messaging me, but I needed other women's opinions about what was happening in my life. And I couldn't get that. I just couldn't get it. And, and I was cool with it. You know what I mean? Like, I'm cool with it. Like, if I can't find something, I'm cool. So I just kept doing that. Okay, so I was ignoring a lot of stuff. I'll, I'll own that. Own it. I was ignoring a lot of stuff. Two, I had these other relationships where they would call me, we would talk, and believe me, it was not about the fucking group. It, sometimes those comments got thrown in, but I did not say, you know, this is a big piece of shit, nothing, because you guys know how much I love the group. And I think that you can honestly be honest with yourself and say that I wasn't that type of person and never will be. And so when they would talk about something that happened in the group, I would encourage them to be themselves, to stand up for themselves and say, no, you know, my opinion does matter. So there was a lot of girl getting strong arm there and the, the husband thing came up and that threw me off. And then this girl joined. Um, and, oh, well, Kathy went to work. That, that's kind of where it started. And, and she was very tired. And I seen those posts and was like, Kathy, you, you've got to get some sleep. Okay. <laughs> you got to have sleep for your brain to function. And I know that much. So anyway, um, we all have our crosses to bear. We all have husbands that drive trucks and we're all at different levels. But one thing we have in common is a deep love for each other. So I don't want to leave the group, right? And um, I want to stay there and keep enjoying it and stuff. And so I seen a shift in the group and then this girl joined. Her name was Catherine O'Neill. And, oh, shoot, maybe I shouldn't have said that. Catherine. And uh, we'll edit that out. And so um, 
she joined and she posed a question and it had something to do with her. The person that she was with, the truck driver, was a sex offender and she listed the exact law of it, kind of, and roughly, and, and, uh, and he hadn't registered. Okay, that right there is like a flag. Bing, 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 get out. Because all the girls have children, most of them, um, including myself. And I would never be with a man that was a sex offender. That That's just me. Now, I didn't know if it was a 17-year-old or was with an 18-year-old. I don't know all that. And she wasn't confessing up to it. So she messaged me after she posted this. And I said, no comment. Because I knew I would pop off. So, so I said, no comment. And she kept tagging me, tagging me, tagging me. And, um, and uh, she said, did I do something wrong? In Messenger, which I still have it. And I said, I just uh, don't know what to say. <laughs> because I knew if I started in, I would just re ream this girl the riot act. And I didn't want to do that. So um, at this point, Kathy makes me an admin, which I didn't know there was five other ones or four or whatever. And um, I think Danielle Graham was one. Tracy was one. I'm not, I'm not totally sure about everyone. I forget names really bad. So... <clears throat> when she made me an admin, they had a group chat to discuss the issues of the group. I kept saying to her, I don't like this Catherine lady. I don't, this is really irking me. Like, oh, I hate that kind of stuff. I'm an activist, so I'm just like, ah, I'm going to freak out on you. So she's like, what? Where? How? Come to find out the girl's there for two weeks. And then she fesses up and says she knows this guy for a couple weeks. I'm like, are we really putting up with her? It seemed like a lot of the women, and I think Donna was the one that broke it open. She said, uh, what's going on? <laughs> you know, kind of thing. And I was just like, I'm going to pop off. I'm going to, oh my God, I hope I don't make a video about this. And so anyway, uh, Kathy ended up booting her. But before that happened, we had an admin meeting like in group chat. And I actually didn't even know I was going into a group chat. I was like, hello, hello. <laughs> <laughs> Who am I talking to? <laughs> and Kathy was there, and, and I said, uh, there's a lot of issues. There's She's like, what's wrong with the group? What is what is going on with the group? And I was like, well, first of all, we have a girl that's with a molester. Second of all, there's girls, um, to be honest with you, there's girls. Now, I shouldn't have probably said anything. I should have just shut my mouth. It was like, there's girls that have friends here, and those friends are telling their husband stuff, and that's a weird, creepy, like, feeling, even though Tim would never listen to a trucker wife. I mean, he might entertain you a little bit, but he's not going to listen to you. And, but but I understood how somebody could feel, because they were calling me, and talking to me, and messaging me, and I knew that this was occurring. And third, um, this whole shut up, your opinion doesn't matter, and me not knowing the originator of that thing. So I make a video and put it in the group. Knock it off. Please, let, let's not go there. Let's be close. I love you. You love me. We're all great. At the end of that, Kathy still didn't do anything in the group to change it. And she was getting really tired, and I was like, oh, my God. And so nothing changed in the group. It was still really wonky. Um, a lot of paper members opened up, then it was secret, then it was opened up, and then it was secret, then it was closed, then it was secret, and then it was open, and it was, oh my god. And so, yeah, there was a shift in the group. The dynamic, by the way, I have a diploma, um, I have a degree, <laughs> the dynamic of the group had changed. And I think a lot of people didn't even see it. I could see it, because it didn't feel as free or relaxed, and she can blame me all she wants to. Go ahead, beat me up, Kathy, I don't care. So, um, you know, it just didn't feel the same. And she brought it up and the other admins brought it up and they said a lot of things in that group and I will not reveal that. Um, I think they had a lot to say. I think they had certain opinions about certain people. In the meantime, Charlotte's, uh, which I don't think Charlotte would get mad about this, Charlotte's grandbaby got hit by a car. And so she called me like, oh, and I'm going to answer. I am not the type of person to answer a phone when somebody's grandbaby gets hit. I don't care how you feel about her. And in Messenger, I was getting told by Kathy and some of the other admins, you know, uh, certain things about Charlotte, and I did not like that at all. I did not like it. I felt, and I said, I'm dealing with her right now. I'm on the phone with her. She's hysterical. So Charlotte asked me to post it, but then she thought it was on Facebook. You have to understand, when your grandbaby gets hit by a car, your thinking is not there. Okay, 
It's just not going to be on point. So that's what went down just recently. And, and I'm trying to post for Charlotte. I'm trying to post for her. I have Kathy blowing me up. I have admin blowing, you know, what's going to, I don't know why you're talking to her. And it was like, dude, can you be empathetic? So, okay. Things are getting rotten in Denmark. Um, the Charlotte thing kind of made me mad. Um, I thought that, you know, like all you did, you know, your, our prayers are with you. And um, there was a dynamic shifting in the group. The Catherine girl got kicked out. And we're trying to figure out who these women are that are strong arming these other women. But I'm not going to press that woman and say, who is it? Because I didn't want to get a beef with that person. So that's kind of the, 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 the you know, the platform, so to speak. And it was uh, uncomfortable. So... Kathy again, and, and some of the other women in the admin, which I didn't even know there were that many, um, I said, could you take me out of admin? And nobody would do it. Because I'm not an elitist. I'm not an elitist. I don't like elitist mentality. I don't like, you know, I'm better than you. I have control. We're going to gossip and talk about you and do these things. I didn't want to do that. But I told her straight up, like, this, this, and this is happening. And, and, and that's not cool. And, and that's what maybe you're feeling is that shift of that weird behavior stuff. And I wasn't going to rat anybody out. Let's just be honest. You know me. So, um, with that said, they were trying to come up with a solution. At the end of that conversation, it just pretty much went in the form of this. Oh, well, Kathy, I love you. Yeah, I love her too. We're here to solve a problem. Let's put it in the group description. Let's have some rules so this can stop. And then she made the group secret again. But we already have people in the group that are something's wrong. So, you should probably fix that. Well, it didn't get fixed. She posted no more drama. Everybody calm down. It's not that I wanted to do it my way. I just knew I was in a 20,000, maybe almost 30,000 Facebook group. And it was very effective. Like you need to go. You've broken the rule more than once. No, or you've been warned or whatever the case may be. So I have all my little friends. I'm talking to a messenger. Of course, that got used against me. I was um, seeing the shift, which she was aware of. These other women were also aware. I won't name them. And it's just too long of a list. And um, they're trying to figure out what's wrong with the group. And I'm like, I think that you should change the dynamic of the group. I think you should let everybody have an open forum. So Kathy opened the whole thing up. Come on, everybody talk. Let's just talk it out. Nobody said anything. Again, people feel left mm -hmm. out. When people feel left out, things aren't going to go well. Okay. So we already have women in the group who aren't participating. I think there was probably maybe 50 of us that were really tight. I mean, as far as like when we see each other's names, we knew who that person was and we could tag them with something that we knew was cool. The venting, cool. I don't care about that. Um, getting angry, feel free. Um, you know, all that stuff I think is allowed. And I think it's your right as a human being to have those feelings. So this is my take and spin on what went down. But I wanted to give you this jumping off place so you'd understand where I was coming from. I'm pretty upfront. I'm pretty honest. I'm almost brutally honest. And I, I, something was happening. Well, I could only go from the information I had. They didn't address it. It was just like, I love you, Kathy. I love you, Kathy. I love you, Kathy. I love you, Kathy. And I'm like, we're not getting anywhere. Let's, how do we weed this out? So they would just shut the group down. No rules, no nothing, just kicking people out. And then those people would harass other people. And then they had to block them in Messenger and stuff like that. Just crazy stuff. So yesterday, actually the night before, we were in a really funky place, all of us. We were bummed out. We were just like kind of at our wits end. And um, I said, we should group chat, like text group chat. And everybody was like, yeah. So we started off with like four of us. Well, every time somebody had to add in, you had to start another text chat. So it was like, I didn't know how to keep adding as I was going. It was just, So there was like 17 chat, you know, things because 17 people came in and, and, and this person left. So we had to take them out and make another one. And we were so confused, but I don't think I've laughed as hard as I ever laughed that night. I mean, my stomach and my lips still hurt from the laughter of trying to figure out how the heck to be in a group and talk to each other. I didn't think it was against the rules. I thought if anything would make us closer. And there was girls that I had never even talked to. There's people blowing me up. 
and they were there and we were like, ah, we were like hyenas. We were, we were having so much fun. Um, and obviously Kathy wasn't included. I think Danielle Graham was actually there. Um, if I look back, probably is. And, uh, it was just a group text chat. I needed that. I think they needed it and we felt really close after. Um, so there we go. There's the group text chat. So I wrote all their names down. Okay, evidence. <sighs> Don't mess with me. I'm like an attorney. Um, I write all their numbers down. I'm adding as we go, changing the group. And it was absolutely, totally confusing. And the next morning, um, Kathy and uh, Danielle were very upset. Very upset. They wanted these texts to stop. And I kept saying, shut up. Everybody shut up. Don't talk in the text chat no more. Because if there's 20 links and you're talking in one of them, it's going to bleep bleep on somebody's end. So literally, I woke up and I had 400 messages. Because as I left the group chat, like went to bed, leave the group chat, somebody kept talking in the other groups because it was so confusing. So it's like they talk over here. I'm here. Where are you? Where are you? I don't know. Where are you? Where are you? Because we kept recreating, creating it, and people would get behind. So it was just hysterically funny. I don't even think we really talked. <laughs> it was more like, what group are you in? Where are you at? I don't know. Where are you? We added you. Where are you? Ah. So we're in Facebook. We're on the phone. The phone's blowing up. Chirp, 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 chirp. And I think we probably had the greatest time ever. And at the end, we said, wow, this is the closest we ever felt. And I think the texting was something that makes you feel like it's not just you and your truck driver on the phone. It's like now you have your sisters with you, you know. I'll go 25 minutes on this one. So that's what happened. We did a group chat. I, I was like, oh, my God, you know, on Texas. And the next morning, Kathy and Danielle were really upset because their phone kept blowing up. And I kept saying to them, Oh, God. So I called Samsung. Like, that's how freaking nice I was being. I, I want to call Samsung and figure out how they can't get out of this chat. With iPhones, you just delete. Um, but for some reason, on their Samsung Note 4, um, it wasn't stopping. And so I got the guide and I posted it. And then I called and Samsung said, do this with settings. And I did. I shared them that information and I swear to God, everything went downhill after that. Um, they were very irritated by it. Um, Kathy l got in there, but then she left. So in the meantime, I'm talk to, talking to Kayla, and I said, well, no, everybody's really stressed out about it, even though we had tons of fun. And she's laughing. Oh, you know, I said, we should do a group thing. We should do it like award ceremony. Because we were so excited and happy and laughing, and it was hysterical that it just kept going to the next day. And, you know, Kathy and them were like, I have issues, I have issues, I have issues. And I was trying to fix that, fix that, fix that. And at the same time, I was like, Kayla, what do you think? You know, and she's like, why don't we do Facebook group chat? And I was like, will it be the same, though? Because like, it was so fun last night. And um, she's like, yeah, yeah, we should do it. And I was like, yeah, let's do it. So I start one. Um, and everybody jumped in. I think even Danielle was there, Danielle Graham. I think she was there. God, why do I keep throwing, blowing people's last names up? Danielle. Um, people are texting me on my phone. So, any hoo-ha. I'm, I'm trying to stretch this out 25 minutes. So, <laughs> um, so anyway, um, I had everybody's phone number. Um, Kathy's angry. Crystal's angry. They're voicing it in the group. They're saying, you know, screw this, screw that, whatever. Um, this is a bunch of BS, blah, blah, blah thing. And I was like, oh, okay, okay. So I kept trying to fix the situation because obviously if I started it, you know, it was, it was my fault. And, um, so that leads you up to right now. So let's go to part two.